How are you all doing? Uh, this is Gibson J45 Standard. I got a loan of it from a very good friend of mine, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Uh, it is amazing guitar. I always had it on my bucket list of one of those guitars that I got to get my hands on and, and play and hopefully someday own one. Um, we're not there yet, but I got a nice go of this. It is from a lot of acoustic guitars that I've played over the years, and I've played a lot. Um, this one was, I suppose, the kind of most surprising because it has a very, very, very different feel. The only one close to it was the Hummingbird, Gibson Hummingbird I got to play in a, in a studio I believe last October. Um, but this is even, uh, even a little bit further from the field. And I think it is to do with a couple of little things. But we'll get to that in very shortly. Quickly, just run you through all the basics. So Gibson J45 in production since 1942. Uh, were made in Gibson factory during the wartime and they were short on supplies. So some of the old ones um, might not have had uh, truss rods or the, the woods might have been different from what the standard model is. But it has standardized to this model, which is uh, mahogany back of sides, uh, spruce top, rosewood fingerboard and bridge um, very very uh, basic decorations um, has binding all around it um, this one particular one I'm not 100% sure of the year of it but it is reasonably new model it hasn't been played much at all Dave bought it second hand um, but you can feel it that it needs to be played uh, it hasn't been properly broken in yet um, which you know it takes a little bit of time but this guitar it already gives you a hint of what it will be like when it completely opens up and, it, and it's amazing the balance of the guitar and the tone is brilliant has a very warm bass but it's not boomy um, and it almost feels like there's a little bit of a scoop in the middle which uh, when you're singing it kind of makes your vocals stand out a little bit different way um, and it has what I would call it it feels like almost like a compression built into it and I think it's to do a lot with uh, the little bit shorter scale this one has uh, 12s at the moment. Um, my usual guitar strings are 13s, but because of the shorter Gibson scale, it, it kind of feels, it doesn't need it, but they're st they still feel very, very stiff and like firm to play, and which makes it uh, wonderful in a sense that it, I, can, I can strum it, but at the same time, it's let's say if I do finger picking, it kind of, it's loud enough without making too much effort. It's a very versatile guitar. It, yeah, it is. And if I throw my G7 hard capo on it, uh, it give you an idea of how well that works as well.
everybody wondering, um, my guitar is tuned to that guy as always, because it's the only tuning I know how to play. The tuners are uh, Grovers. Nice looking tuners. Um, we've had a bit of a debate uh, with Dave about this. He, he's not too fond of He thinks these are a little bit too big looking. Uh, I don't know. I like them. Um, but I could... Uh, I could also see that the uh, the classic Gibson tuners would be very nice uh, on them, but uh, no, the tuners work fine. They're great. They're really really chunky and they they do the job really really well. Um, it has an LR back system uh, and controls right here in the sound hall. Uh, I tried it um, last weekend. I was playing gig with Slitter and it sounded amazing. Um, there was a little bit of boom from it, but that's uh, I usually always have a. Uh, the feedback buster uh, sound hole cover here um i didn't have one that would fit this one without me trying to force it in and i didn't want it because it's not my guitar um so yeah that one that's just the only thing that um i'd like to try it with uh, again with a proper size one but uh we'll see if i get to it or not um probably not um i just have to wait until i uh, sell one of my kidneys and uh purchase one of these for myself I think that's the best option. Um, so I'll leave you with something. Um, if you've got any questions, ask me in the comments. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe because I'm going to be posting more. I know it's been a while since I posted something. And uh, the plan is I'm going to be posting a lot more. So please subscribe. Um, I'm going to leave you with a bit of a song so I give you an idea of what it sounds like when. Uh, Somebody's singing with it as well. Uh, what do we do? Oh yeah, tell me darling. Love is blind to be my pride, but diamonds are hard to come by. So late last night, I went across the county line to break into a jewelry store. A little did I know the owner's home was right next door. The bars that swung a crowbar real hard and climbed into the broken glass. And you could tell my darling won't be home tonight. In fact, it might be quite some time. I got myself like deep in the trouble. That's it. If you want to hear the full song, go and check it out on Spotify. This is Gibson J45 Standard. Um, absolutely blown, blown away by it. I love it. Uh, anybody want to buy a kidney? Thank you very much for watching. So the sound is recorded uh, through a pair of octavas here, right in front of the guitar. For the guitar. And then I've got a uh, SM7B up here, so you get an idea of why it sounds the way it sounds and give you an idea that it's not just a microphone on the camera. All right.